You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the show. I'm Jack Scalfani. This is the Cooking with Jack show. And, you know, we're going to start up, um, it's called Recipe Roulette. I think we're doing that in a, in a few, there's a few more recipes I got to do. Then we'll do Recipe Roulette. What is that? That is where we grab a cookbook, randomly open it, and cook whatever we land on. Alright? So for right now, um, this is a viewer mail recipe. So, let's check out that email. It's time for a viewer recipe. Yeah, exactly. Dear Jack, can you please do cheesecake? I know you don't bake a lot on the show. I don't bake a lot because I don't eat desserts. But there's no reason I shouldn't cook them and give them to other people. So anyway, we're going to be doing a viewer mail recipe. We're doing a three-part series just for you. It's going to be three different cheesecakes. Kind of excited. <coughs> oh, by the way, I want to say hi to Amy. Amy Jonathan's crazy about you and said that I should shout out. So I'm doing it right now. Amy, thanks for watching the show. All right, guys, come on in close. We'll show you what we got. You know how Tammy always made those peanut butter ball Buckeye things? Well, I'll tell you, we're doing one, but it's going to be Buckeye Squares. No bake, Buckeye Squares. Let's get started with the ingredients. Chocolate chips, cream cheese, butter, Oreo cookies, confectionery sugar, peanut butter. Yay, love peanut butter and vanilla extract. First thing we're gonna do, because our bottom layer of this dessert, crush up these Oreos, there's 22 in here. Put them in a Ziploc bag. I put a towel over them, so when I hit them, I don't bust open a hole into the cookie bag. You can use rolling pin or a hammer. I'm gonna try a rolling pin. Crush up all your cookies. They're not crushed up, do it again. Alright, we just crushed all the cookies. Now we're going to take our butter, pour it in. There we go. Ew, that looks gooey. You're going to take your hand, mix all the butter in. Okay, crushed Oreos and butter. Make sure your pan has parchment paper in it. Now place the Oreos in the pan. This is going to be the bottom layer. Get it all in, then spread it out evenly. But first get it all in. Alright guys, there you go. Got it all flattened. Set that to the side. Alright, on to the next step. Take your cream cheese. Start throwing your peanut butter in there. I love peanut butter. You can do a cup's worth. And if it sticks to the spoon, sometimes you can do a non-stick stick spray on the spoon, and it'll slide right off. It's all in the bowl. You're going to mix that until creamy. Probably going to need a hand mixer with that. Cream cheese are mixed into the peanut butter. Take your vanilla. Drop that in. Take your powdered sugar. Sprinkle that in. all mixed put it in as a second layer spread it even all right guys last last thing to do we melted the chocolate so I'll let you spread that she does a way better job than I do but we got all our chocolate on the top level and it only asked for like a cup of chips so we decided to add a little bit more so we would make sure we covered the whole area it is cold solid right there so now we weren't sure how to cut it we're gonna pull the whole thing out I'm saying use a pizza cutter boom 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 it could be a bad idea it could crack the chocolate we'll find out but let's get this going all right so as you guys know on the show I don't practice the recipes this came out amazing but we kind of cut them a little big 
I think that's more appropriate. So it's like peanut butter and chocolate. So make sure you don't you put the half a cup of chocolate chips. We added a little extra. Make sure we had enough. Chocolate too thick started cracking on us. So once again, you want a thin layer of chocolate. And I recommend you freeze or refrigerate overnight because that'll keep it more firm. So let's give this a try. All right, before I try this, I just want to say a few things. I'm going to take one bite. You guys can take it easy, relax. I'm not eating this. I probably will give it away to the Bible study or to another fan member because I can't eat this. So I'll taste it once and let you know what it tastes like. All right? And uh, I think we'll do that piece. Oh, I didn't get the chocolate. It's messy, but good. Reminds me of the pound cake. That was messy, but delicious. Yep. Alright guys, send me pictures, how you like it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.